a story. The title of the story is God's Creation. Before God made the world, there was only darkness. Then God said, Let there be light. This was the first day. The next day, God made the sky. On the third day, He made the earth with the sea and the land. On the fourth day, He made the sun and the moon and the twinkling stars. When the fifth day came, God said, Let the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea. Soon, all kinds of birds were flying in the sky, and the sea was filled with fish and crabs and whales and dolphins claim and sort of sea creatures. On the sixth day, God looked at the land he made. All kinds of animals from the little lizards to the giant giraffes. Then God made a man and a woman named Adam and Eve. They all lived happily in, in the beautiful garden of Eden. On the seventh day, God rest. rested. Bye! That's the end of the story today. Hi friends! Hi Kimmy! Today I'm going to tell you a story. The title of the story is Noah's Ark. God was not happy with the way people behaved toward each other in the world he had made. People no longer lived by his laws. He told Noah who was the only good man left that he wanted to destroy both the people in the earth. However, he would save Noah. God told him to build an ark or a large boat when Noah and his family and two of very kind of animals were saved in the ark, God closed the door and the rain poured down until the world was completely flooded with water. All over the world, people and the animals were grounded, but Noah's ark floated on the water, and those on board were the only life saved. The rain stopped it, and the flood waters went away. The ark slotted on a dry land. The sun began to shine as Noah and his family left the ark. All the animals came out of the ark, beginning their new life in the new world at the same time God spray, spread a rainbow across the sky. Even today, a rainbow up in the sky. The remainder to us of God's promise never to flood the world again. That's the end of the story. Hello friends! Hello Kimmy! Today I'm going to tell you a story. The title of the story is David and Goliath. Goliath was giant and, and champion of the Philistine army. No Israelite 
army soldier dared fight him. Only Israeli shepherd boy David was brave enough to fight the giant. Goliath just rode with laughed, laughter as little David put a stone in his sling, sling, sling. But David threw the stone so hard that when, when it hit Goliath between the eyes, the giant fell to the ground. David then leapt forward and killed Goliath with his, with his own sword. The sign of this, the Philistine army ran away. The little shepherd boy had won a great victory in the Israelites. I hope you like this story. It's the end of the story. Bye, kids and friends. God made us in his own image. He wants us to be just like him. He wants us to love it, other people just like he loves them. He wants us to be happy. He wants us to enjoy the life. He also wants us to discover and learn. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for creating me. Thank you for making me in your own image. Help me to be loving and kind like you. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm wonderfully made. Psalm 139, verse 14. Every of us is special. God created us that way. God has made a special way. My body, my face, my the way that I look. These are designed by God special, special, especially for me. The Bible says we that we are all wonderfully made. That that means that God has made us in special way. It also means that God has made us other in a special way. Remember that as you are special, others are too. Because we are all special. We don't know we do not laugh at others who have disabilities. We do have these others because they of the way they look. We make others feel that they are special. Let's thank God for creating us and making us special. The Butterfly Song If I were a butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. If I were a robin in a tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. If I were a fish in the sea, I wiggle my tail and giggle with glee. But I'll just thank you, Father, for making me, me. 
for you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile you gave me jesus and you made me a child but i just thank you father for making me me if i were a butterfly i thank you lord for giving me wings if i were a robin in a tree i thank you lord that i could sing if i were a fish in the sea i wiggle my tail and giggle with glee but i'll just thank you father for making me me for you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile you gave me jesus and you made me a child but i'll just thank you father for making me me for you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile you gave me jesus and you made me a child but i'll just thank you father for making me me day challenge and this is my memory verse matthew chapter 7 verse 1 to 2 verse 1 do not judge or you too will be judged verse 2 in the same way you judge others you will be judged and with the measure you use it will be measured to you matthew chapter 7 verse 1 to 2 thank you for watching and god bless you all hi Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6 verse 1. Bye! Hello! This is my memory verse. John 14 verse 15. If you love me, you will obey what I command. John 14 verse 15. Bye! Colossians 3 2. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Colossians 3 2.